Hello my friends. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to use a servo. Um, so what is a servo? A servo motor is basically a um, a PID that um, it is a motor that uh, goes to a specific position and it uses a PWM which is which stands for uh, pulse width modulation and these can be used for steering vehicles as well as uh, for um, uh, surface controls like in airplanes actually this kind of servo is actually the one that I'm using on uh, on some of the um, RC airplane models that I have so what is PWM pulse width modulation a pulse width modulation is simply a protocol that is uh, used by these little guys and based on the duty cycle um, it's simply a square wave with a duty cycle so depending on the uh, duty cycle of the square wave um, this servo will go to a specific angle and uh, the wiring is very simple so you have two wires for uh, ground and 5 volt red and then the white uh, wire is for uh, the data for the square wave that we need to send it to this to control it and we will use Arduino to make that so I've created a small code that can do that let's go through it very quickly <coughs> um, actually for some of you who wonder what kind of operating system I'm using I'm using Ubuntu and this is the uh, sketch for the servo motor and every uh, sketch for Arduino is composed of two main functions the setup function the uh, setup function and the loop and I'm not gonna go again on that detail but um, so what did I need to do is I needed to create a global variable called servo which will be assigned the value of 2 and that's where uh, the pin for which we will output the square wave the pulse width modulation so the heart of this code is actually in this um, in this function in which I create that square wave so I write uh, I use digital write to the pin and put it on high and then I delay it for uh, some microseconds of the duty cycle value then I go and basically turn it down and then um, and then I delay that for the remainder of the 20 millisecond as the servo expects a 20 millisecond um, wave with, a, with, the, with, the, with whatever uh, duty cycle and based on the duty cycle width it will go to a specific angle and um, actually if you ch if you see on the loop here I'm looping for 500 times so I'm sending 500 um, um, I mean periods so and that means because we have a period of 20 millisecond so the time would be all equivalent to a one second every time we call this um, square wave we will spend one second in the in a specific uh, position the servo will actually sit in that position depending on the duty cycle value and then I created a second function which uses this square wave and that that's called the uh, move servo to an angle and uh, simply is it converts the angle into the duty cycle value that we need and there is a Arduino built-in function called map which basically maps the value between the ranges the range of the angle is from 0 to 180 and it moves it <coughs> um, to the range of values of 500 millisecond, uh, microsecond to 2500 microseconds and this will correspond, the 500 will correspond to zero angle and uh, the 2500 microsecond will correspond to 180 and then in the um, 
and basically in the setup I just um, make that servo pin to output and then um, and then in the loop the loop is what actually continuously keep running so it will run this code and then goes once it, it finishes running it it goes back and run it again <coughs> and here I basically send the servo to angle 0 then 45 90 125 and 180 so let's upload this to um, and see what's gonna happen I'm gonna I'm gonna press on upload that to the Arduino and see what's gonna happen here to the servo so you can see it just finished uploading it goes to 0 then 45 then 90 125 and 180 and it goes all the way back to zero and the cycle repeats over and over and over again and this is a simple code but actually there is a library for servos that are written by the Arduino community and uh, but for right now I just wanted to do it bare bones thank you for watching